Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting the laundry room makeover, which is two years overdue. I just wanted to kind of go in there and start a little bit to force myself to keep going when I wake up in the morning. So basically we just need to go ahead. It's become like a catch all. So I just need to like get it cleaned out and get like things in piles. So I know what I need to get as far as like storage containers or goodwill or trash or whatever is in there so let's get started i also wanted to come on here and give you like a little inspo so like originally i was gonna make it match the kitchen like do like the whole black white concrete type of look but then i decided i wanted something different in there like something that's i wouldn't necessarily say it's out of my comfort zone like it's still moody and dark but just something that has like more um like just starting to use like different tones as well like bringing in the browns that i love also so i'm not gonna make it completely match the kitchen and i don't think it will be tacky because the doors match the kitchen and the doors will be closed so i'm not too worried about it but anyway um i'll put a picture up here as inspo i literally want it to almost look exactly like this maybe just like i don't want the wood color like the undertone to be as orange so i want it to be a little bit darker and more neutral so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it i'm so tired <laughs> So this is what it looks like right now. Like I said, it's just become like a catch-all. I have a lot of like my DIY stuff in here and like some Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff, Cody's table for helping me cook. And these boxes are for pots and pans that I don't want because I'm about to treat myself to new bowls, silverware, pots and pans, and all of that stuff because I just want new stuff because i've had this stuff for a long time and it's like really beat up and just bent up and just gross so <laughs> i need to make sure that i put things that i don't want in that box so that i can go ahead and either throw it away or if it's solid like good enough then give it to goodwill um i need to take this down because i don't want it like this like with this whole bar and all this like i don't want it that way I'm going to do it a different way and I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to put one right here, like up here, and then I'm going to put one up here. And I do have an electrician coming this week, so I don't know. I might have him go ahead. I'm, I think I'm going to start with painting it for sure, like taking this down, taking this shelf down and getting this stuff out of the way and then painting it. And then I think I'm going to have him change out this light because I want a flush mount light. Like I want it to sit flat onto the wall instead of sticking out like that. Just to ensure that I'm using like the most space possible because it's not a big laundry room. It's a laundry closet. So without this being in the way, I can add another shelf up here and be able to put stuff up there without hitting this. And that way we have two, even if I can only put like one thing up there, it'll still be whatever. He also, the electrician also has to get rid of this because I'm going to put a countertop on top of the washer and dryer. And I feel like that is going to be in the way depending on where the washer and dryer sits. Okay, so starting off with this stuff, I'm literally just going to put this. All right, you guys, sorry about the bad camera quality. I accidentally had it on slow-mo, but right here I was just putting everything into piles so I can figure out what I needed to do. And I did end up getting some storage and cleaned it out for the most part. As you can see, I'm trying to remove the shelf. It's giving me a hard time and I really didn't have the tools to get it off, but I did end up getting it off because they just used nails. They didn't use screws or anything. It was just that I didn't have a pry bar. So I had to do some cutting and some hammering. After that, I did start to go ahead and paint it. Even though I didn't get it off, I had to come back to it. I was getting frustrated. So I painted the laundry room with that same color that I painted the living room in the last video. I was able to finally rip off that shelf. Now I just need to pry these off. It looks like they only mailed them in, so it shouldn't be hard once I get the right two. Because I was using my arm and that hammer, and it was hurting my ears because I don't have no ear covers. 
But on a side note, I think I'm going to have um, the dude go ahead and come and replace this. Even though I wanted to paint the ceiling first, he's coming today. So I might have that done, but he's also... Anyway, like I was saying, originally I wanted to go with a black flesh mount light in the laundry room because I wanted black and I'm using black brackets, but I'm really going with more of like dark wood tones and I don't like how it's like you walk in because it's you know like this it's just boom light so I had a white um flush mount light that I had ordered for my clients that didn't come on time my buyers all right y'all he wasn't able to change the outlet plugs because something's going on with the electrical so I need to call uh like an electrician company or whatever and have them come out and figure out what's going on with the electrical Hopefully it's not a big problem, but um, seems like it is because he said nothing was going on with the fuses or anything like that. But he was able to finally take that EDT box out. So now I need to patch this hole and paint it. And all right, y'all, I just changed the light. It was on like 5000K, which is like a super bright blue white. I just switched it to the one that's like in between the blue and the yellow light. I'm kind of mad I just wasted paint. I just remembered that I don't need to paint the back wall. I just need to make sure that the back wall is an even texture. Like I need to sand the entire back wall. I don't need to paint it because I'm doing wallpaper on the back wall. I just need to paint everything else. So I just wasted paint up there, but it's fine. I just gotta get a sander and sand it. And then I just need to paint the rest of the wall because this is getting wallpaper. So, Home Depot so I can get the wood and things that 
that I need to make, um, one, to make the shelves, and two, to um, make the countertop. So yeah, we have a lot to do today. So these are the scratch and dent ones. Uh -huh. What are these dryers? Yeah. No. So yeah, we did pick out a washer and dryer. I don't think I got any videos for you guys, but if I can find some pictures online, I'll put it right here. But you'll see it tomorrow. So I'm hoping the laundry room and everything will be done tomorrow because tomorrow I have to go to Home Depot and get the charger and battery for my jigsaw so I can cut it to size, cut the countertop and the, um, the shelves to size in case they're too big. Um, and I may have to cut one of the shelves at a 45 degree angle to get it to fit under there, which I can do with the jigsaw. It's gonna cost more, so we're just gonna do it ourselves. Um, we have to go pick up a dolly from Home Depot tomorrow and then pick up those, and then I have to pick up the battery. But tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and hang the wallpaper. All right, y'all, so um, back at home now, I'm gonna show y'all these Amazon packages too. I got the stain and the wood for the board, so I'll make sure I get those um, sanded and stained tonight so those can be put up tomorrow morning. I just realized I can't, I can make the countertop, but I can't install the, um, the one by twos because I still need my jigsaw to cut them. So I have a jigsaw, I just need the battery. Here is the wallpaper and I'm hoping that it's enough. Let's look at it together. Oh yes, it's it's grayish. Thank God. I was hoping it was gonna be too. I was yeah, where it is gonna be too yellow in person, but it's like a grayish color, like gray brown. Let's see if you can see it. This is what it looks like. I'll put the picture right here too, so you can see what it looked like on Amazon. But yeah, I just wanted something different from the normal stuff that I go for. Like I always go for um. Just like straight for it stuff. Like I don't really do like patterns and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go sand down. I'm gonna go sand down the wall one more time and just wipe it down and then I'm gonna get started on the wallpaper. So after I put up that wallpaper, which I probably don't want to do wallpaper again, at least not in a weird setting like this, I ended up going ahead and measuring and dry fitting every shelf that I wanted to be put in here. Now this clip is a little bit out of order, but I did want to show you guys kind of sort of what I did to do the countertop. So I just got three pieces of wood and i pocket hold them and screw them together with wood glue of course and then i sanded them down smooth and then i stained them and i basically did the same thing for the shelves except all i had to do was cut them to size i didn't have to pocket hold
you put them lower. Get straight. So after we got the shelves in, and as you can see, like I told you, he put the brackets lower than what I wanted them. So as you can see, I didn't even need to cut it at a 45 degree angle, but who cares? And after that, I ended up going ahead and putting in the the wood pieces on the wall. I'm not really sure what you call it because it's my first time doing it, but I just watched a whole bunch of videos to see how to install a countertop and I kind of wanted it removable so it's easy for us to access the back of the washer and dryer and yada 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 so I just put them a little bit above the height of the washer and dryer so that they're able to breathe and rattle and whatever they need to do and I will place the countertop directly on top and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the back with the decor it's kind of covered up so it doesn't bother me as much but if possible, I think I am going to stain another piece of wood the same color and make like a little box to put in the back of it just to cover up those plugs. But in the end, I did like it. Um, it fit perfectly. I could have went a little bit longer on the countertop, but it would have been like really, really snug. So it's okay. It turned out good for my first time and we'll only get better with time, right? Right here is where I decided to go ahead and start styling it. I was so excited. He didn't even finish hooking the water up yet, but I wanted to go ahead and see it all put together in the finished project. Um, I did take some decor from other pieces of my house that I felt felt that I felt fit better in here, like the basket that I got for my entry table. I put that in here because it looks better in here and the size of it was better. I also tried the plant that I put above the cabinets in here. And although it looked good, it wasn't what I was going for. So I did end up ordering uh, a black vase and some faux eucalyptus plants. And I put that in there. And you may see that on the thumbnail, but I'm not sure. <laughs>
So, without further ado, let's remember where we started and now where we're at. It's two o'clock in the morning. Y'all just saw the last clip. I think we're gonna leave it where it is right now and come back to it. Um, I still want to try and figure out something like to get another piece of wood and stain it the same color as the countertop to cover up those plugs in the back because I low key don't want to see them. And um, that's basically it, other than that. <laughs> Thank you.